not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. So there you have it. The motion was not agreed to. 52 senators voted in favor of this uh, proposal. Uh, NBC's Kelly O'Donnell is back with us. Kelly, uh, how many Republicans did we see uh, break with de uh, break here with their party and vote to reopen? Well, I don't have the whip count yet because I was just in a scrum with uh, Senator Chris Coons of Delaware. So just roll with me for a second on this. Fair he enough. is saying that about 20 senators of both parties are about to make their position known that they want to uh, call for a three week reopening of the government with negotiations during that time for additional border spending. He is a Democrat. So what he described is more in line with the kind of plussing up of funding for an array of things that would improve border security minus a wall. Uh, I asked him if this is a trust exercise because clearly the environment here is showing that these measures are not passing. And he said it is a test of trust. But he also talked about the fact that this is weakening the U.S. government, weakening the economy, weakening the state of democracy as it's viewed around the world. And he said while there is a deficit of trust, there is rising anger in senators of both parties. So expect that as we do our rolling coverage here to be something that will bubble up shortly where he says as many as 20 senators of both parties will step forward and say they need a short-term fix to get the paychecks flowing and then serious negotiations to begin. Again, we and have Kelly, been in those places before where that doesn't work out, but that's, that's right. the temperature we're taking right now, Case. Kelly, uh, so uh, forgive me for putting you on the spot on the whip count. Uh, we got a note here in from our Hill team. The Republicans who voted yes uh, include a couple names that may underscore the point you're making, that perhaps there are more Republicans uh, and a, a broader bipartisan group that really do want to see an end to this. Some of the Republicans who voted yes include Lamar Alexander. He's retiring, of course, so that gives him a little more freedom. But also mm -hmm. Johnny Isaacson of Georgia and Mitt Romney of Utah. That's in addition to the usual suspects. Susan Collins, Cory Gardner, Lisa Murkowski, uh, who, as we know, uh, come from uh, more competitive states. What's your take on this group? Well, this yes, yes group, as I would call it, voting yes for the Republican plan and yes for the Democratic plan, it does tell us something. Lamar Alexander, who is not running for re-election, has also been a member of leadership and then stepped away from leadership because he wanted to be able to do more to bridge sort of these uh, bipartisan divides. So that makes sense to me. Mitt Romney, new to the Senate, also talking about wanting to be someone who can bring about a focus on governance again, often a critic of the president, at times uh, supportive of of the president when he agrees. So Murkowski of uh, Alaska, Lisa Murkowski, Alaska is filled with federal workers and many of them are suffering uh, at a pay level that uh, without their paychecks, they're really feeling it. So she's been talking about that. So this gives us a bit of a sense of where they could build uh, kind of the let's do something because this isn't working coalition. And we will watch to see what exactly they say. Now, nothing happens without leadership buying on onto something like this. And now that these votes have been taken, which Senator Coons and many others have said, we all knew which way this would go, but you have to take the vote to prove the outcome. And so there isn't enough for a veto override for people who thought that might work. And there isn't enough to get to 60 to simply, you know, move to the next level. So they're really at a point of everything that has been proposed from the bases of both parties isn't enough to get it done. And so now you've got this coalescence of people who are not really moderates in their parties, but are wanting to show they can govern, saying we've got to do something. So we'll have to follow this, see if leadership signs off, see if it gets any steam. Sometimes these groups uh, sound good, look good, but don't go anywhere. So we'll have to follow All it. Case? fast. <laughs> For sure. Kelly O'Donnell right here on Capitol Hill. Yes. Thanks very much. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit MSNBC.com newsletters to sign up now.